Hey everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and today we have a double seasonal candle event on right now, which means we'll find eight seasonal candle clusters instead of our standard four, which means that when we forge, we should have a total of two season candles instead of the one. So to start, we have two in the social space. One is on the right side there, one's kind of over here, and the rest are below, so let's fly down. We have two more to collect before that first gate. One is right here and one is closer to the gate. So that would be four total out of eight. Right here, this is our fourth. And then once we go through the gate, we'll find two more to collect and then two more past the next gate. Fly up, fly through. So we have one on either side here. This will be our fifth. And then right across is our sixth. And then two more just across this gate. So I'm just gonna fly up, Whee! And we should have one immediately in front of the gate here. And one towards the end. Seven. And finally, number eight. Awesome. All right, so forging this should give us two total season candles. With all that collected, let's get started on today's daily quests. The sapling can be found just at the very bottom of the cloud tunnel towards the left-hand side. All we have to do is admire it, and to do that, we just have to stand next to it and wait 60 seconds. Let's take a little sit and we'll wait until it's done. To recharge our light from a light bloom, first we have to use all of our flight. Make sure you have absolutely none left and then land on one of these little glowing mushroom things. That is all we need to do. Just make sure you have no flight before you do that. The Apologetic Lumberjack can be found in the Broken Bridge area when you immediately enter towards your left hand side. The spirit's pretty easy, but do be careful of the rain falling down. You can of course always stop the rain by completing the final part of the Broken Bridge. If you're a chibi, you may have to jump for this spirit. For some reason they're a little bit too tall. Come on. And of course we have all of these little mushrooms or overhangs that will keep us safe from the rain. So. It's not the most dangerous spirit, but just keep an eye out. The orange light can be found in the broken bridge area all the way towards the left hand side. It starts out super high so you may have to wait for it to come a bit lower. I like to fly through these birds and then land on the light bloom here. And just wait for it to fall. Or at least come a little bit lower, it won't really fall. So we're going to wait for it to pass the trunk, come down a little bit, and then we should be able to fly up and catch it. You can also stop the rain in this area if you need to by finishing the final part of the broken bridge. But I don't think I'll need that today. Let's just fly and catch. And, oh, don't go into the trunk. There we go. Orange light collected. Today's rotating treasure candles can be found in the Golden Wasteland and we do have a double cake event on right now, which means we're gonna have eight total treasure candles to find instead of the standard four. Our first two can be found in the social space, just right on the staircase there, and the rest are all below, so let's get into it. Whee! Our third cake we can find in the first area, just smack dab in the middle of all these crabs. And the next one is pretty far, so we're gonna go into the uh, graveyard area, and then pass that first krill, and keep going a little bit. All the way through here, Passing this first big cave here. 
we're basically going straight into the middle of this area as much as we can and you can see it right there it's definitely in a weird spot but you should be safe i don't think any krill can see you in this area but always be cautious they do sometimes act a little funky our next cake will be on the steps leading out of this area i might be doing this a little bit risky i know the krill is coming this way oh how did it see me? That's weird. Huh. Alright. We should have the cake right here. And don't worry, I will grab that winged light. Here is the cake. Yum, yum, yum. Ah. Grab that light real quick. And uh, I feel like the krill's coming. Ah, krill. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I'm just gonna fly through here. And we'll lose them. All right, hi Krill. Our next stop is the battleship area and there are quite a few entrances you can take to get here. My preferred one is this one you can see on the left hand side of where I am now. It's pretty easy to get to, but you do have to worry about a few Krill floating around. In we go. And then from here, we're going to go to the front part of the boat, which I think is called the bow, but I really have no idea. I could be very, very wrong. Collect this cake. And then we're going to go to the back of the boat, which is the stern, maybe? I don't know. I don't know boats. And we should find one over here. Ta-da! Cake! And now our next stop is the final area with the temple, the uh, battlefield. I get the names mixed up in Golden Wasteland pretty often. So we're just going to fly over here towards the pipes. What is going on? Someone just, I'm sorry. So we're just going to keep flying through there and then towards the barricade. And you can see the cake up ahead. This is the final one for today. And again, I'll get that winged light, don't worry. Cake time. All candled up. Sad news for today, it looks like it is a no shard day. That means that absolutely no shard will be falling in any of the realms today. Unfortunate. But and that worry. is it for today's daily changes in sky. Thank you guys so much as always for watching. Hope you found this helpful. Hope you enjoyed. And I will of course see you in the next video. Bye bye.